Hello, welcome to How to Play Jack the Ripper, a game for two players. Now, this game, of course, comes to us from the scan page on Board Game Geek. There's a file section where you'll be directed to the rules. This game was designed by our solitaire designer, our most common solitaire designer, David Parlay. You'll need a scan deck, and you'll take that scan deck, shuffle, and deal 10 cards to each player. Normally, your cards will be hidden from your opponent, but for the purposes of demonstration, we are going to have the cards face up, but normally you'd keep your cards hidden. This is a trick taker in which each card played, a new total is announced. Until uh, 21 can be reached, or a player passes because they cannot follow suit, or they do not wish to follow suit, or they do not have a card that can keep the running total from going over 21 and busting. Pretty simple concept, and since the back of the cards show you which suit your opponent has, you'll know if your opponent can or cannot follow suit. The face cards are worth zero when led, but when not led, when followed up, kings are worth 10, queens are worth zero, and jacks are worth negative whatever the previous card played was. You'll always have to follow suit unless you cannot uh, follow suit that you may play any other card as long as the running total does not exceed 21 points. And then once the trick is played and won, you'll redraw back to 10 cards, and the game will continue with the previous trick winner leading the next trick. So pretty much your standard trick-taking game uh, that you've always played before, you've always known before. The winner of this game will be the player that has won the most tricks in the round, and if you want to play a best of seven, or if you want to play to a certain number of tricks, you can do that. Uh, once the draw deck is finished, you're no longer going to be replenishing your hand. And from then forth, you may only um, you may only play cards of that same suit if you have it. If you do not have that suit, you may only you can play any card as long as it doesn't reach over 21 points on the running total. Pretty interesting game. Um, Seem to like it a lot. Uh, it is something. Uh, profoundly interesting how you could make a game like this it's pretty good now if you do play your last card that trick is automatically won by you and then you count the number of tricks and that establishes the winner so if you want to play this series or to a great amount of tricks that's your game you do whatever you want with it and so if you'd actually like to play some cards in public with strangers otherwise known as friends you haven't yet met come to our subreddit card game meetups Post your city, post what public place you want to do this at, and what games you're looking to play. Do click under the show more in the description to find rules, uh, other resources, including other video channels I enjoy, and a link to a Discord channel where we talk about card games all day, every day. It's a fun place where you can meet new friends and learn about all sorts of different card games, domino and dice games. Do call up your friends and let them know that you're looking to play some cards. They might say yes, they might say no, but you never know unless you call. Sometimes you need to be the one to set things up, so give them a call. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with other people you know are interested in card games, and do check out the current poll under our community tab, and we'll see you next video.